Hey, welcome everybody. I'm Annabelle Fisher and I'm really excited today to share with you what I've been up to. I did uh, write a couple of things on Facebook, sort of teasing you, if you will. I've talked about some projects that are really dear to my heart and that I'm really excited about. And today is the first day of project number one, as I call it. Ooh. Yes. Now, the wooing in the background is by my <laughs> sweet friend, Lizzie. Before I introduce her and, and how amazing she is and how she has supported this dream of mine, uh, how it's taken off so fast. Um, if you don't know me uh, and you're seeing me for the first time, in August of last year, which was 2018, um, I was given the prognosis that I had two months to live. Uh, I had been living and thriving and surviving and thriving with ovarian cancer uh, for three and a half years. Um, and it is now currently, as I sit here talking to you, March of 2019. So I think you could say that I have outlived my prognosis. Uh, so that's really what I'm doing and who I am. Um, I've kind of taken on, I guess you might say, a mission to make my one life count. And I'm really excited to grab life with both hands and just live for the moment every day as much as I can. Life is precious and the clock is ticking. Um, <clears throat> so before I continue talking about me, because it's not all about me, let me introduce you to Lizzie Rasinko. Hi, everybody. So I'm Lizzie. Um, I am an artist, a writer, um, a mother, a hugger. Um, specifically, as many intuitives, I'm a multi-passionate. Um, so I, I'm, I imagine many of you are as well. Um, so this unscripted life is my hand lettering studio and retreat series um, for women. And Retreat Roadmap is a consulting branch of that work where I um, work with similar soulful business owners to plan um, retreats and gatherings that are purposeful, intimate, um, and aligned with their businesses. Um, and yeah, those are the things I do. Um, and, and I, and I, I um, I'm just so grateful to have been able to be a part of this project with you, Annabelle. Oh, thank you, Lizzie. Thank you so much, love. Well, let, let me tell you, because I call it a project. Um, <clears throat> I have three projects in mind that I have a vision for while I'm still here, while I'm still grabbing life with both hands. And um, you notice I've now said that phrase twice. Uh, it sort of took off um, a friend, a dear, dear friend of mine in the UK last summer said to me, I think it's about time that you started grabbing life with both hands. Mm. And it was such an impactful statement. Uh, I, it, it just knocked me sideways. It was so simple, but it was so true. Because how many of us do that? Not many when we're caught up in the rush and chase of life on that hamster wheel. So grabbing life with both hands and making my one life count uh, is another expression that I use an awful lot. Um, and what does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean that we must go out and do something massive every single moment of every single day and exhaust ourselves or, um, or really push and strive and hustle. That's not what I mean. What I mean by that is making every moment count, being our best selves, um, <clears throat> really showing up, being brave, saying what needs to be said, being who we truly are. Um, saying to the person that we love them, hearing that we're loved, that to me is making our one life count. Mm -hmm. So I was coming up with these phrases and expressions and I thought, what if they could be placed somewhere where people could see them regularly and use them and be reminded of them? So it's not just like some, some idea that's kind of nice. It, it's something that can be really used and applied. And so I had an idea of cards that could be drawn uh, whenever they were required. And it was very easy for me when I thought, oh my goodness, well, who's going to help me with this? Because I have zero creative ability and I'm certainly not an artist. Um, and one person stood out for me, uh, this beautiful soul who I had had the honor of meeting in 2017. Um, and I, I, um, Lizzie's introduced herself. I mean, I call her a creative, a wordsmith. Uh, she, she is 
beautiful with words and beautiful in designing words. And so she has helped me create this beautiful deck of cards. Thank you. Thank you, Lizzie. Oh my gosh, it's it's been so beautiful. So wait, are, can can I um can I share some? Wow. Well, I think we need to, right? Oh my goodness, you've got all of them. That's awesome. Yes, please. Um, yeah. So 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 these are the beautiful cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's the back, isn't it? The back of each card. I yes, love it. So, so this is this is the back of each card with um. Um, make your one life count every day. Um, and then this is the front of our beautiful cards. And each mm. one actually, um, it, has, it was so much fun to make these. And we'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, but each one um, is, the artwork is different. Um, and we worked uh, really beautifully on the colors and um, making sure that the artwork kind of um, allowed each of us to accept the message in a way that we needed to hear it as opposed to kind of um, using really illustrative uh, images and graphics that told us kind of what that should mean for us. So really this like vibe of colors um, as opposed to, you know, graphics. Yeah, I love that. You're absolutely right. The colors were hugely important. And I love how Lizzie explained that. I didn't want to tell you what, what to take from the message by the graphic. I want you to give it your own subjective meaning. Uh, and, and, and I believe that that has happened because of the stunning way that Lizzie has placed the color. I mean, that doesn't do it justice saying placed the colors, but the colors that she's combined together and the way that she structured them on the cards. Uh, I, I think they're exquisite. And thank you, Lizzie. Thanks, Annabelle. So um, one of the things I want to um, just sort of share, well, share with you and then share with everyone um, is just uh, this idea of when we when we started talking about okay what is this deck going to be what are the messages going to be I um, one of the things I shared with you um, when you were thinking about it was to think about what would you want to whisper to us what do you want to whisper in our ears when we wake up in the morning when we're having a tough moment when we need some guidance um, and how can we <clears throat> carry you and thread you into our lives on a regular basis and get to, to hear your wisdom outside of your book and, you know, outside of YouTube. And, and, and this is such a beautiful way, I feel like, to have you um, all the time and have your wisdom all the time um, mm. in my, you know, in, in my life when I need it. Thank you. Oh, I, I love how you said that. Yeah, I think my, my intention is not to tell you what to do. There's no right or wrong here. But I think um, if somebody's, I, I love how you say, what are you whispering? So somebody might wake up in the morning and feel that they needed guidance. Perhaps they needed some clarity, they needed some calm, and they could draw a card. And I'm not going to tell you what to do, but there might be a question that you pull, or it might be um, a statement and then you fill in the blank, or you might be required to grab a pen and paper and make some notes or contemplate something. So I wanted it to be a very collaborative process. Yes, I am whispering, as Lizzie says, um, and encouraging, uh, but ultimately it's you who is coming up with a, a solution or a decision uh, or a choice, whatever it is for you. And I, one of my strongest desires is that the cards are going to help you strengthen your intuition, um, simply because of the way that I've worded things uh, or worded questions or stated things. And for so many people, I've, I've noticed, Lizzie, um, many of us are very passionate um, and sometimes we wonder though, what's our purpose? Do I even have a purpose? Or I thought I had a purpose and I've lost it or I haven't found it yet. I and mean, I think we, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves about that. And I'm not suggesting for one minute we must have a purpose, but I'm wondering if my words of wisdom, my cards of wisdom, as we've sort of 
uh, tentatively called them, might help people uh, get clearer on their purpose and maybe connect with it a little more, really, really get in tune with what they're passionate about and connect to that driving force mm -hmm. uh, that, that makes them uh, make their one life count. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, in terms of who the cards are for, so the cards are for um, people just who are, who are purpose driven and who are looking for that special guidance that you have to give us. One of the things that I think is so cool um, about the experience of having done this with you is we talked a lot about that you didn't want to just be saying things that we hear all the time from everybody else. Yes. And really like every single one of these cards, which I got to work with for weeks and weeks and weeks on end, the messages are so unique to you um, and what you bring, um, which is just something I think is so beautiful about, um, about them. Thank you. Yeah, I, I hope that they're not generic. Mm -hmm. um, so th they're not sort of the standard, well, I, I could have read that anywhere or seen that. Annabelle, would you say these are affirmation cards or... Hmm, I think that's a great question. Um, I think we're quite used to drawing affirmation cards, aren't we? Um, which, which really allow that shift in our consciousness to sort of juice us up and, and see, see our internal and external worlds differently. Um, I, I, I don't think these are affirmation cards. Um, some of them, the, the statements are very affirming without doubt. And I, I have no doubt that people using them will be very affirmed by them. I think that, uh, like I called them words of wisdom, I think, I think they're more wisdom-based cards, really. Like yeah. I say, with questions or prompts or getting people thinking. And I, one thing I, I just want to add, Lizzie, is I don't want people sort of, this isn't an analysis process I don't want people up in the attic uh, this is very much about connecting with your heart and your soul and many of the, the, the cards will will guide people towards that um, but I, I think it's more about uh, connecting with our intuition and um, like I said earlier our purpose rather than simply affirming that this is who I am this is what my life is like mm -hmm. maybe a little more uh, a deeper, digging a little deeper, perhaps. Yeah. So um, some of the cards are in first person and some of the cards are in third person. Can you tell us a little about uh, a little bit about why you made that decision? Yeah, well, I like to shake things up. I think I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, just, a, just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you never knew that about me, of course. So, yeah, I mean, I've got um, quite a few card decks that are only first person, and then I've got some that are suggestive and you this and you will that. Um, and I like both of them, and I think they both serve a place. Um, so I, I did, like you say, combine both. Um, and what I think is really cool is you might draw one of the first, per uh, sorry, the third person cards where, um, let me see. Oh, um, this is just, I haven't placed it in this way. It's just one that I I picked up and it's got third person, Lizzie. So it says, as soon as you wake up, give thanks out loud for everything in your life. And I give some examples. So we might change that. We might pull that and think, actually, today I'm going to make this about me. <clears throat> and say, as soon as I wake up, I give thanks out loud for everything in my life. Mm -hmm. So I like the idea that you can... Uh, move them around. You don't have to say exactly what's on the card. If you want, you can make it first person. Um, and one of the reasons that I did that was so that people can use the cards with other people. Uh, sometimes I find um, packs of, um, our cards can be rather solitary and we're drawing them on our own and we're sort of going through a process with them. But what if with these cards, with your Make Your One Life Count cards, uh, you could do it with a, an accountability partner um, or even um, with a group. That's my bigger vision, that people uh, would hold a friend or a loved one accountable and say, hey, you pulled that card earlier in the week. Have you such and such yet? And how's that turned out for you? And so perhaps if people are in um, group, like women groups or whatever the group is where people get together collectively, they might want to pull a card each week and then hold one another accountable. Totally, and I can tell you actually, I haven't told you this yet, 
but um, that I plan on using them at my um, April retreat in. Oh, um, great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That'll be awesome. Perfect at your retreat. Yes, I'm so excited to, to share them there and to be able to use them um, during, in, in some of the facilitation and in some of the group exercises. Um, but another example I pulled here for, for a, um, a first person is, you know, I'm feeling outrageously brave today. Yes. Um, which, whew, which we try, right? I always tell <laughs> you, can't be, you can't be brave without fear. Um, and so it's fear is a prerequisite to being brave. Um, so anyway, okay. And, and you know what I also think, just in terms of um, decks, I often use them with my kids. So my kids are four and six, um, but we often pull cards in the morning. And, um, you know, I have a few different decks and, and maybe it's a question, maybe it's a word, maybe it's an idea, but it gives us a chance to um, just like ground into ourselves, ground into each other, and, and, and that I can help them at this young age listen to their intuition. You know, we were on the beach the other day, and, and my, one, my daughter is like, Mommy, my heart is telling me we need to go this way. I think there's, I think there might be some really pretty rocks over here. Let's go this way, you know, and her heart was telling her. But I mean, that's how you help develop children's intuition. Absolutely. Practices like, like this. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Lizzie, for sharing that. So I wondered um, if I could ask you some questions about these cards. I mean, you are the designer, the creator, Lizzie. I, I'm just in awe of how fantastic they are. Um, so I was going to ask you um, if you could talk a little bit really about the process um, when, I'm going to say when, somebody decides to buy one of, uh, of these packs or more of, the, of these wisdom cards, make your one life count packs of cards. Um, so when, first of all, how much, um, are the, the packs of cards? Okay. So each, each pack is 50 cards. Um, so it's 48 wisdoms and then, um, an explanation card about how to use the deck. Um, and then a little bit about Annabelle. Um, and so, and they come actually, um, in... A beautiful bag I'm gonna put them right back in there so they are you know so you can keep them together um, and then easily pull them out whenever you want to use them um, and each deck is $49 um, in with free shipping um, so shipping's included mm, fantastic. Um, yeah 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 wonderful so when uh, what's the process then after somebody um, pays for them how long are they expecting to wait um, to, for the cards to arrive because I think one thing it's important to make clear is that Lizzie and I are sort of we're a two man two woman band here doing this so you might buy um, a more generic uh, set of cards for example online um, and there's thousands of thousands that are, are process of ready to go out uh, this is very much uh, uh, Lizzie and me doing this as the orders come in. Um, so we want to be very transparent with you so you know how long the time frame is and, and how long it would take. Totally. Sorry, sorry to jump in there. Yeah, no, no, that's okay. So, so basically this is a limited edition, um, uh, short amount of time opportunity. Um, and so um, we are going to um, open up orders today and the ordering is going to be open for five days. And so when the five days closes, um, we will custom order your deck for you. Um, so it doesn't exist. Our decks exist, but your deck doesn't exist yet. So yeah, so it's limited edition. You're going to order it in the next five days, and then we're going to order it for you, and we're going to get it to you. Um, but that takes some time. And so um, I would say people can expect their decks um, between two and three weeks after they are ordered great Thank yeah you. so they're they're just not you know they're just not ready to go tomorrow um but but yeah because they are so personally made and sealed with love yes. from lizzie yes. and me 
And of course, I guess the most important question now is where do we go to find these amazing cards of wisdom, my yes, love? Awesome. So we're, we'll link it below, um, but the link is thisunscriptedlife.com slash Annabelle. Pretty easy. Um, and yeah, you just jump in there. Process is super easy. Um, and then we'll get them to you so that you can be a part of this experience the way um, you know, that we have been a part of this experience. And, you know, Annabelle and I just chatted about how, um, even if we sort of like let this go today, this was such a deeply fulfilling journey for us, um, you know, to, to work with the colors and the design and the, um, the words and to have so many conversations about, you know, this, the, what the wisdom was going to say and, and what people need and want to hear and what Annabelle has to say to all of us. Um, and, you know, and so this is like another layer to the experience where now we get to share it with you guys um, and you get to share it with us. And it's just this beautiful ripple, um, you know, that, that is so exciting to me. Mm, thank you, Lizzie. Thank you for your pa passion oh. and your enthusiasm and excitement. And... Been <clears throat> it's it's made it a very magical process working with Lizzie. I, I tell you, she's. Uh, I've been very unwell during the time. In fact, yet uh, last week I was rushed into emergency, and she's always been here motivating me, uh, keeping the bigger picture in mind, um, because I really want these cards to go out, uh, and I I, w I would love to. Um, encourage and nurture and facilitate you in making your one life count as well and if these little beauties can do that in any small way then i'm very happy so thank you for taking the time to to watch lizzie and um, my video and just allowing us to explain this process it's be i mean i call it a project tongue in cheek um, because i said to lizzie i have three projects i mean it's been so much more than that this is as she said it's been life-changing and I'm just very, very humbled and grateful by the whole process. And I want to thank you in advance for you guys getting on board and sharing it with us. So uh, thank you for from my heart to yours. Mwah. Totally, totally. And, and, and pass it along to anyone who you think might also want to be pulled into this circle. Um, Please do. That would be amazing. Please share this. We would be most grateful. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. And, and th yeah, and thank you so much, everybody. And thank you, Annabelle, um, for this experience and for being willing to share yourself with all of us in this way. Mm, thank you, love. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.